While high voter turnout throughout the state raises concern for possible legal issues, including voter intimidation and suppression. CTV's Molly Devola is at the polls in Upper Marlboro with more. If current poll numbers are any indication, it's bound to be an extremely close race today, which means any slight impropriety could affect the results. I spoke to the governor and other local officials about how they felt about the issue in Maryland. I'm not terribly concerned about that, and I'll tell you why. People in Maryland have been following this national race and following the state questions very closely, so I think you're going to see a record turnout today. My biggest concern is just making sure that these lines continue to move and that uh, all the polling places open on time. I've haven't had any cons I haven't had any reports of polling places that have not opened on time. I think this is the day people have been waiting for for a long time, and I think you'd be sore pressed to pull anybody that's in line out of line. People are going to vote today. I think it will be a close election, and I I think that's exciting though. It shows you that every vote counts and every person counts and who knows, Maryland's turnout may well affect the national vote given how close the election is. So it makes Maryland even more important. I think there are concerns across the, uh, you know, when you go to Virginia and other places, there are concerns. Our main concern is that, um, that people are honest. You know, we're, we're concerned about, you know, fake ballots where especially the no uh, on question seven or on marriage equality. I mean, that right there is something we're going to look at and make sure that people are following the rules on those, those two issues or the DREAM Act. Um, but in terms of um, uh, other things like look ID and things of that nature, no, I think we're, I think we're pretty set. I haven't heard any um, um, communicated as of yet. Uh, I'm, I'm certain that we're prepared, NAACP, uh, everyone's prepared to, to fight any legal battle that may need to be fought, uh, but I haven't as of yet heard any. I do remember a couple of years ago with there some robocalls discouraging people to vote. I think that case uh, received a lot of coverage and, and folks now realize that, you know, it's best to, to just keep things on the up and up, and, and I'm hoping that everyone will. A lot of people are, are, are split and deciding about what they want to do with the ballot questions, so we're encouraging folks to, to really to uh, vote our best interest. Officials say all in all, they are excited about Maryland's voter turnout all across the state. But should there be any legal issues, they do have lawyers on hand to deal with them. Reporting in Upper Marlboro, Molly Navola, CTV News. And Maryland polls close at 8 this evening.